So it is just after 10 o'clock and I've just applied the Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil in the shade Red Berry. Today is genuinely so cold. It's so cold that our pipes were frozen this morning. So it is definitely a day for a moisturizing lip product. And I'm going to be doing the whole review and wear test for this lip oil to see just how hardy it is and how it can keep my lips during this extraordinarily cold, dry day. My lips are feeling a little bit rough this morning. I even have like a tiny little cut right here where my lips have been really chapped and it actually like cracked. Not great. So we'll see if it will help like soften up my very chapped like inner portion of my lips and we'll see how long it's gonna wear. So they actually have seven shades of this now and when it first came out they only came out with three. This red berry, a kind of slightly more purpley toned one and a somewhat clear but really like yellow toned one. I think that was called Honey. So I'm going to read to you what Clarence has to say about this lip gloss while showing you the application process. So it says, one luscious formula, three ways to use. These seven delectable shades infused with 100% pure plant oils nourish, soothe, and plump lips, leaving a protective veil of color. Apply before lipstick for a smooth application, wear alone for soft, hydrated lips, or top off any lip color for added shine. It has a couple of bullet points underneath and it says color shines lips in seven tantalizing shades, refreshes the senses with aromatic plant essences, and lip hugging applicator. And I do want to talk about the applicator because it is different. The applicator itself is like huge for a lip balm. I feel like we've gotten really used to like smaller, more precise um, like doe foot applicators, but this is quite hardy and it holds a lot of product. So I have not the largest lips in the world and I feel like it was just a little bit too much product with just one like, without having to like double dip, it was just like a little bit too much product to put onto my lips. But again, my lips aren't that big. It is a really unique shape though. It has a nice little curve that, you know, is there to hug the lips and it holds extra product on the end. So if you do have larger lips, it can you know, like easily apply without having to go in again. So we are going to hope that this like softens and soothes my poor dry lips and I will check in with you in a couple hours to see how it's going. All right, so it is a little bit after 12 noon, which puts us at about two hours into wear. And although you can't really see much of the lip oil on my lips anymore, I can still feel it there and my lips feel really nice and comfortable. We went out on a short walk to go get coffee because it's just so cold. And um, although it was like, outrageously cold out. My lips are feeling fine and they don't feel chapped or windburned or anything so that is very good. But we'll see how much longer wear I will get out of it and I will check back in when it's totally worn off. So it is just about 3.15 and the lip gloss has totally worn off now. That puts the grand total of about five hours of wear where I can like feel it on the lips and I think it was about two hours where it was still like glossy and noticeable. And I gotta say my lips are feeling pretty damn good right now. For what has been an incredibly cold and dry day, you know like when your lips are really dry you get that like tightness? You know when you like smile and your lips just feel really tight? I don't have that feeling, it's amazing. So my lips feel really nice and moisturized. They feel like almost like slightly sticky and that just might be a little bit of residue left over but there's not like there's no gloss left. But I will have a full write-up and review later on today on the blog lipstickaday.com and I will see you next time.